Hi guys, my name is Anna and in this video I will tell you how I decided to go and work in Central Africa, in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, what I did there and what my general impression about this experience is. I went to Africa from Turkey, where I lived for seven years. I was already thinking that it would be nice to explore other countries too. So when my close friend told me that she is planning to go to Africa for work and offered me to come and work there too, I thought, why not? My friend worked in Africa before and now found a new contract there. The company needed more people. I sent my CV, passed the interview and we went there together. It happened to me many times in my life that I wasn't looking for some opportunities myself, but just accepted interesting offers that life brought to me. So I went to the Democratic Republic of the Congo, which is located in Central Africa, right at the equator. I worked in Kinshasa, the capital of the country. First, I had a flight from Izmir, where I was living, to Istanbul, and from Istanbul there was a direct flight to Kinshasa that lasted 8 hours. So my friend told me that I should take all the necessary things with me, a lot of cosmetics and washing things, because most probably it will be hard to find the things I'm used to in Africa, and because everything is very expensive there. That is why I took a lot of things with me. I had the right to bring two bags of 23 kilograms for the flight and I also had a lot of hand luggage. Though later I saw that you could buy almost everything in Kinshasa. Yes, usually the prices were higher, but not extremely high. Maybe two times more expensive than in Turkey. I will show them to you in some other video. So from winter I came to the country of eternal summer. I worked as an administrator in a casino there. I did not make videos at my working place as my employer didn't want me to. That is why I will put videos of Kinshasa city as a background. Half of the customers of our casino were local people and the other half were foreigners, mostly people from China and India. Also we had some Lebanese, Belgian and Turkish customers. I learned that quite a lot of foreigners live and work in Kinshasa, do business there, that there are a lot of opportunities to earn money there. So the owners of the casino where I was working were foreigners and they were hiring foreigners for managing positions. I was responsible for service in the casino. Altogether, I had around 80 people to manage. All waiters, cleaners, barmen, hostesses, local administrators and workers of the kitchen. I needed to make sure that people in my department work well, that the service is good, the food is tasty and everywhere is clean. I was also responsible for supplying the casino with all the food products and washing things. I communicated with suppliers, sent our requests for goods, accepted them and registered them to our system. Once a week I did the stock inventory. Also, I was responsible for checking workers' attendance, calculated their salary and tips, prepared work schedules, made interviews and hired new people when necessary, and had many more small responsibilities to make sure that the work in my department goes well. So, I worked a lot, but it was a great new experience for me. Also, Congo used to be a colony of Belgium. Everyone speaks French there. Very few people know English. I had to learn French quite fast because I needed to work with the local people. I love learning foreign languages, so after two months of working on my French and practicing it every day, I was already able to speak it quite well and explain everything at work without using Google Translator. For me, it was really a great and interesting experience, because I learned many new things, learned a new language, got to explore a totally new culture, and saw some beautiful natural places that I will show you in other videos. 
I saw the real exotic Africa. Kinshasa is not a touristic place. People go there either for work or as volunteers. So I had the chance to see the real authentic Africa. This is all for today. Thank you for watching this video till the end and in my next video I will show you more of the Congo, the city of Kinshasa and I will tell you many interesting facts about the country, so make sure not to miss it. Good day to you all! Bye-bye!